craziest things you guys have done for love? <sighs> they hardly see my films. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, they don't. <laughs> Even Tahira. Yeah, she she does. She does. Yeah, she does. What do you think your dad will ask your future husband? Oh, you know, they have to be as kind, as loving, as funny as my dad is. Otherwise, and that's the benchmark for me also. Aryan's making another web series. Will you be in it? Hello and welcome. I'm Karen Pereira from E Times, and joining me today are our lovely dream girls, Aishman <laughs> Karana and Ananya Pandey. These introductions, I don't think I'm ever going to get used to it. Aishman, yeah. <laughs> how does it feel to be back in this character and what were you most looking forward to in this uh, story? I'm not back, it's the new avatar of Pooja. You didn't see the like Pooja in real flesh and blood this time. Pooja is a girl. Like, so it's, it's, it's different. That's the difference between the first and the second one majorly because Pooja ki awaaz sunai di thi, the hai bhi de rahi hai. So what was the family and the kids most looking forward to in uh, in this uh, movie? They hardly see my films. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, they don't. <laughs> Even Tahira? Yeah, she, she does. She does. Yeah, she does. Was there any inspiration at all uh, with the women or maybe even the men in your life who brought this character forward? I think it's just the observation of life. Uh, with okay. People you hang out with, with, with girls, boys, everything. I think it, whatever you observe or the lived in experience, I think you incorporate in your films. So I guess, uh, though of course, I, I had no experience of being like, playing a girl on screen, but uh, what my, whatever my observation is in life, so I think it, it really worked. And it's basically Raj's vision. Okay. So he's, he's so good with comedy and this is, he owns this genre, I think. I just followed him. So Ananya, what made you more most excited to get on board to Dream Girl 2? I mean, I had seen the first part and since it was Dream Girl 2, I think I expected double the fun, double, you know, the laughter and all of that. And it was exactly that, you know. Uh, when Raj sir came and narrated the film to me, I couldn't stop laughing. I had to keep telling him, you know, sir, ek minute, ruk jab, phir se bolo. And he's literally a joke a minute. Like, he just keeps us on our toes. He keeps us laughing. So, yeah, it was the, the actors. There was Ayushman, of course, but there was also, you know, a plethora of comedy legends we were working with. So, it was a f like my dad was like, you have to do it. Like, I don't think I was left with much of a choice. It was like, you have to be a part of this film, it's, it's a no-brainer and everyone's really going to enjoy it. And if you can bring a smile to people's face, I think that's the best thing. Somewhere, do, I mean, I know you're only in the industry for like a few years. You debuted in 2019 when Dream Girl first oh, came yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, but uh, do you feel like, you know, uh, you are uh, being typecast maybe in this uh, girlfriend, the girlfriend role? No, I don't think so because... Um, I think that's a relationship sort of thing, like, you know, between, okay. a, but the characters have been very different, you know, just because yeah. I've been someone's girlfriend, I think, but I've always been careful and I've always been, um, you know, very um, aware that I, my character is fleshed out properly, she's just not an object or she's just not there to kind of be that glamorous or beauty factor, there has to be something more than that for me, yeah. Ayushman has all the object objectification. objectification. Yeah, I left this one for him. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, Dream Girl sees your character going through great lengths for love. Uh, what is the craziest things you guys have done for love? <sighs> <sighs> I know I sound crazy <laughs> because I'm like young and you're just like, <laughs> wait. I don't know. Seriously, I'm very basic. I, yeah. I don't do crazy things. I don't expect crazy things. I'm just very simple. I don't like surprises also at the same time. So that's me. But of course, maybe, you know, traveling back to Chandigarh or by road um, every weekend or maybe going to Kasoli, the nearest hill station every weekend with Tahira was, that's not crazy, right? That's normal couple thing. So that's I don't know. Normal, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've not done anything crazy. Like I only do crazy films, no crazy things in life usually. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I've just like not slept for very long just to spend time with a person. And sleep I've also is very done important that. To I've me. also done that. Yeah, it's that's very fine. important to me sleep. So Same. I'm sacrificing my sleep. You're very important. Okay. Ananya, you mentioned your dad. Since this uh, sees your on-screen father making uh, well, him a roadie demands that are too high to meet. Uh, what do you think your dad will ask your future husband? Oh God, I think I think my dad is his own benchmark you know they have to be as kind as loving as funny as my dad is otherwise and that's the benchmark for me also okay. they have to be like my dad's just the best person ever so they have to be exactly like so that sweet. 
Ayushman, well, I know there's a lot of marriage and all in this movie. Your character actually gets married. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> and you got married before your debut. Uh, do you think you you safely, you know, maneuvered through this whole uh, link ups, break ups, uh, gossip columns? Because you had this. I think you made this I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Like I was. It really doesn't matter actually. Like it depends on you as a person. You married. You're not married. Gossips will be there, but it depends on you. Well, even if you're single, or, you know. Even if you're married, there'll be gossip. So I, I don't think it's there's any deterrent with the relationship status. Okay. It's, it's you and your character maybe, I don't know. Uh, but Ananya, your personal life is always in the uh, spotlight, whether you're a star kid or any other thing. You know, how do you think this buzz has somewhat maybe come in the way of your film careers or what you wanted to project with your characters? I don't think it's come in the way of it. I think, uh, unfortunately, I've not had a release for the last year as well. So maybe the conversation has been slightly about my personal life in, in that time being. But, uh, you know, I have a lot more films coming up now. Yeah. And I mean, as an actor, honestly, unfortunately, this is a part of our job. And we have signed up for this. We have signed up for being in the public eye. But I think the hope and the attempt is that people focus on my work. And hopefully I give people more exciting life on screen than my life is in real life, honestly. Aishman, you mentioned uh, that, you know, it's it's uh, very difficult to be a woman since you took on this uh, character. Uh, in your films, uh, would you think you'd be willing to play a Ken to a Barbie? Yeah, why not? I think, yeah, that'd be fun. And uh, I think I've always chosen the films, the story. Uh, that's the priority for me before my character comes into play. So I guess if the story works, if, if it has something to say, uh, it adds some value, then I'm ready to just take a back seat and take the story the front seat. Uh, it's always, it always works like that. I think. Yeah, and uh, working with Aishman, I can really vouch for that, that it's always about the film yeah. and all the characters. It's not, not really about him. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think that was a question, but I'm just no, telling everyone. It's, it's that's good. what I want to do. Okay, and uh, you know, uh, Dream Girl uh, scored over 200 uh, crore in uh, in its in 2019. Uh, are there any jitters with this new release? I think it was the safest franchise, maybe. The more than jitters, I think I'm most confident about uh, Dream Girl 2, and mm -hmm. it was a very organic story which yeah. went ahead, and. Uh, Ekta and I and Raj together, we thought we should, till the time we don't crack a storyline, which is like, which is the benchmark of the first one, we should not go for it. Okay. I'm glad it's equally funny, probably double the fun because it's 2.0. Yeah. How do you think in a society that is so woke and, uh, you know, getting offended by every little thing, mm -hmm. how do you think a uh, dream girl will stand apart and possibly, you know, not offend people? I think it can't offend people. I think also at the same time, it's, it's very massy. It's a mass entertainer. Uh, uh, and I've learned it in the past two, three years that you should have like more, have a wider palette, a wider audience. And Dreamville is that film. It's not saying anything. It's not condescending towards anyone. It's just humorous. It's funny. And people go back home laughing. And Yeah, I don't think yeah. anyone would feel bad. Yeah. I get offended very easily. I didn't feel oh. bad at all. So I was like, <laughs> people will be fine. Yeah. So you both have uh, released on OTT. And, uh, and then you're, you're coming back uh, with a web series. Uh, well, what can you tease about it? Uh, I don't know what I'm allowed to say, but it, again, I'm doing comedy in that. And usually, okay. you know, in the comedy films I've done, the comedy is always happening around me, and I'm only reacting to it. But in this one, I'm kind of heading the comedy or doing most of the comedy. That's that's what I'm most excited about. Well, any star uh, cameos we can see? Expect to see. Mm -hmm. Come, we're still shooting here. Four okay. days left if you want to come. <laughs> but there are actually quite a few fun cameos. Not star ones, but really exciting ones. Okay. Yeah. Well, speaking of web series. Uh, Aryan's making another web series. Will you be in it? Can't talk about <laughs> anything, honestly. All right. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you.